Hello, welcome back to Ark Knights, where vernal winds will never blow. I discovered that there's something up here that says details that I should click it. Oh? Oh, it's the Grand Master. Okay. So him and the sword are like in its own universe now? Or the soul inside the sword? Oh, this is her stealing the sword. Oh my gosh, I missed all of this because <laughs> I accidentally skipped it the first time I watched it because I wasn't recording yet and I didn't expect it to start this right away. Is her trying to escape through the sluice? That's really cool. Her whole sword is just made out of glass because that's her power. Bro, what the hell? You can just accidentally skip this. <laughs> so she can just turn it to glass, but can she also turn it back then? She escaped you. What is the Grand Master doing out there? Oh, wait. Who is... Oh, is that the villain? Or is it a Farron move? Or is she a Farron move? Holy sh that's the villain! That was the the ring around her. Wow, that's really cool. It's cool to see him finally do something. Because, like, reading it, it's like nothing's happening. That was a really cool image at the end there, too. Wow. I, mi I almost missed that because I didn't notice that. That's crazy. That was so cool. It's cool seeing him use some do something though. Because like this entire thing he's been sitting with Wei, the, like just off doing nothing. And he doesn't have his sword because she stole it. Then the fight between them two was super cool. That thing it's a Farron moot, isn't it? She's a Farron moot. Because that giant monster had that giant ring, the golden ring around it, like she has. So Wow, okay, that's really cool. I should have tried to find a way to watch that. Okay, without further ado though, let's get into the reading part. Ooh, that was crazy. Uncle Meng, Uncle Meng, are you in there? I need to talk to you. It was her bang on the door, but it was so like rhythmic. What the hell? It's Du Yao. Stop knocking, miss. Did you see the sign on the door? They closed at dinner time. Come back tomorrow. Hey, are you listening? Uncle Meng. Are you hiding something from me? I'm coming in if you don't answer me. Another one. What is it with these young people these days and going to the blacksmiths in the middle of the night? Oh, you're Zing Yu Innkeep. You're Zing Yu in Innkeeper Zengs. Are you the Mandarin who came looking for dad? When did you get <clears throat> to human and why? I'm looking for someone. What about you? I'm investigating a case. The government is investigating the sword forge? Did Uncle Meng do something? 
Sounds like there is something suspicious about this place. I'm the one asking questions here. Please do not obstruct the investigation, assuming you have nothing to do with it. Who's obstructing who here? The flash of sword interrupts Duo Yao. The lock on the closed sign falls to the door the ground, cut in half. Zole charges into the sword forge. Meng told me to keep an eye out. Didn't think there would really be someone here looking for trouble. I have to get help. What are you doing? I'm talking to you. You... Is this how you people investigate? Show yourself. Oh, it's the bad guys. I don't think he had anything to do with it. Because why would he help... If he is in on it, then why would he help the girl who stole the sword? I don't remember her name. Jayun. Come in. Ah, Lee. <laughs> Mr. Lee. I saw a waifu run off just now and didn't even respond when I called out to her. She just graduated from university. Kids her age tend to act before thinking. I hope you give her some pointers. I'm in no position to act high and mighty in front of your employees. I was the one who made trouble for her. No worries. It's a good experience. A few crooks are no match for her anyway. Was my father asking for you to help last night? I wouldn't quite call it help. Just happened to overhear something when looking out, looking for someone. We detectives always hear more than other people. Hopefully, it will be, <clears throat> it will be of help to your case. I would love to hear it. Please take a seat. Okay, they're helping each other. Let me decide where to start. Just hypothetically. What would happen if Lungman what would happen to Lungman if Wei Yen Wu and your father didn't get along? Mmm, the hard hitting questions right off the bat. We're facing a catastrophe on the outside and Shanghai Zong insurgents on the inside. The general has no time to see a commoner. I hear he knows the general. We should still pass the word, just in case it's really something important. Go up, the general will see you. He's on the tower. What was the word again? I don't even remember. Night is deep. The stairs, however, remain as bright as day, illuminated by originium uh, spotlights in the walls. Mang Taiyi walks slowly. The soldier behind him does not rush him. Oh my god, these hiccups are killing me. It has been more than a decade since he last climbed the Towers of Yumen. Lord Exorcist, sir. Cut the formalities. What is it? I would like to ask permission to leave the city. I heard about the what happened to the messenger's party. There wasn't much left of it. There were a few boys from the sword forge in that party. Someone should pour out spirits and bring back a few grains of sand where they died. Come, sir. Has the lockdown been communicated to the entire city? Yes, sir. You heard him. That's why I came to ask you. No. Sir Human. Sir, Human is currently moving at high speed over the barren desert. There's no point in leaving the city right now. Enough. Yes, human has gone too far. How will we find our brothers in the sand and wind? The dead are already gone. The forward progress of human permits no delay. The criminals who killed the messenger have infiltrated the city. The entire city is on high alert. Catching the criminals is the most important thing we can do for the dead. If that's the case, please allow us to join in on the hunt for the killer. We have many connections in the city. I'm sure we can be of help, especially with how so many Jung who wanderers in the town right now. Catching criminals and protecting human is the duty of the soldiers of human. I am not so incompetent as to need help from a civilian. Is that all? You struck out in midair with such force, yet somehow managed to stop the momentum. The foul beast dives into the river and flies away with the fin, leaving behind only ripples on the water. Your mastery of your kung fu has reached new heights. May I ask you to demonstrate one more time? Only if you can get that frightened sand beast to come out again. That's beyond my ability. <laughs> A move is simply the abstract compilation of human reaction. Something that is not and cannot be fixed. People don't react in fixed ways. Kung fu is about improvisation. Do not let yourself be bound by form and moves when you re record martial arts under heaven. The form is the shell, while the concept is the spirit. 
The Grand Master taught me that long ago. Knowing and understanding are two different matters. You should learn to be flexible. Hmm? The Millennium is assembling the troops? Full hundred man regiment. That's big. Did they find her? The men are assembled, sir. Gear check. Then we go to the south side sword forge. Yes, sir. Oh, right, they're going to the forge. I forgot about that. Miss Q, record keeper. Have you picked up the Shanghai Zhang's <laughs> trail? Monitor sensor Tai He has been injured near the sword forge. Lord Zuo Lei has ordered a search of the place. Has Lord Exorcist been informed? The general is stationed in the outer tower. He authorized Zuo Lei to command his troops for three days. Is there direct evidence that the sword forge was involved? The details are unclear. Where is Zuo Lei? He went over first. He's very anxious about monitor sensors Tai He's injury. I mean, yeah. If they're a close friend. Some sword forge just to hide out for gangs. He's not here? So Meng had dealings with the candle holder. I knew he couldn't be trusted. He still has the catastrophe data. Find him. After dispatching these two kids. Who are you? Where's Uncle Meng? Did you kill him? Or are you working with him? Where are the keys? Not in the mood for talking. Then we can do this the hard way. <laughs> A sword flashes past Do Yao. Do Yao as Zhao Lei steps forward. He swings his sword without a word, his brow furrowed. This is the second time that Do Yao has been interrupted today. Son of a. <laughs> the old smith told me to stay in the house while I recover my injuries. Someone has intruded into the yard. Things are chaotic. Have the mandarins found me? Jai Yun holds the sword tighter in her arms. She who said the sword forge would be easy to find. There are as many sword forges as there are inns in the nomadic city, but you are always pointed towards the same place if you ask for the sword forge without specifying which one. She who was right. She said the sword forge was not big or impressive, just a few furnaces and an old tree. But there are always friends coming in and out, drinking, singing, sparring with each other. They come from all walks of life, but they have found, they have fought together and went to many places together. They take turns fueling the fire, sometimes even grabbing the blacksmith's hammer to bang on the metal for a while. The bright fires keep the night away. Shifu says there is a place like this in every city. Inconspicuous or indispensable, but indispensable. All Shifu talked about in her last days were these things, these people in this place. Who's there? This place cannot be allowed to come to harm. Stop. You're making a mess of the yard. Go outside if you want to fight. So they he help hide in here. Psst. Why does she have that sword? Boss, the girl's injured. Kill her first. A gust of wind sends sand flying everywhere, obscuring the figures darting across the yard. The injured girl steps back, pressing her on her wound, and leans against the old tree, panting. She does not notice Do Yao's approach. The masked attacker once again disappears into the shadows. The young candle holder steps into the middle of the yard, shielding the two girls behind him. A sword was appeared on his belt, tightly attached to a hidden fastener. My sword! When did it... The impact just now. A broken leather strap falls to the ground, made by hunters out of the hide of their prey. The tough, durable leather was perfect for holding a sword. The sword that has never left her side. This is Grandmaster's sword. Now that I have the sword, I won't pursue the particular matter any further. If you're not working for the Shai Han... Shan Hai Zhang, the matter of your trespassing is to the barracks can wait. Hey, give it back! Who are you? Let me go! You're hurt. Stay put. I don't care about the sword, but you being here at the Sword Forge means you must know Meng Tai Ye. Tell me, where is he? Did you see the two young people that from Shang Shu in the Sword Forge? I'll rip your wound if you open if you don't talk. Looks like they're not together. Those outside block the exit. Don't let them get away. Did you hear me? Hm. The sound is very close. He turns around, startled. The pain increases as he moves, becoming as clear as the communicator that has been cut off. Cut in half. 
He does not have time to regret. Go by. I took care of the ones outside. The same group that attacked you at the market. Shanghai Zong? Yes. Reckless. Not only have you failed to improve your Kung Fu, I can listen to your reproaches later, after we've taken care of these guys. Wait. Her palms have begun to sweat after just a few mo movements. The yard, the heat, it's getting hotter. It's only March and it's night. How could the temperature be rising? Could it be the Sword Forge's Originium Furnace? The fire is out. It's an arts. Boss, we lost a few guys to her. Stop wasting time. So you know you're wasting time. Do the cicadas sing in March? The air is so oppressively humid, it almost feels like water. This is no morning dew. Everyone realizes that something is out of the ordinary. A drop of water falls on Kyobai's face. Spring comes late in the north. New leaves have yet to appear on the old pagoda tree. The water droplet is formed on the sword blade. It's the bad guy. Yeah, I think she's a she's a Farron move. That giant circle around the monster that was fighting the master. Master, where is Meng Tai Yi? Not here. We ran into them as we were preparing to leave. The sword. You were the one who attacked Uncle Tai Yi. Tai He. Tai He. My phone just went off like five times. Oh, I got an email. Nice. Let the old times go. Too bad some people just can't live and let live. Okay, so I'm gonna start with her here. A new challenge. Excuse me. Let me tail like a shooting star. That's and what they say. There. I won't sleep on the job. She won't sleep on the job. Apple I'm gonna do a lot of damage. Fuck! It's I can't deal enough damage. Okay. Let's retry that then. I was kind of relying on a to be able to kill the one that was going by. Struck out. Aw, oh, 79. What's... Oh, I'm out of money! Oh. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's get her to 70. A good old 70. Save I'm me a loving bit this of money. feeling. Okay, she should be able to hit hard enough now to kill the dude as he's going by. The battle. Battle. I thought she'd deal enough damage for that, but she didn't. Unfortunate. Here, everyone believes in me. Thunderstorm! Mirage! First day boss player! Mirage! You want my opinion? New challenge. I won't sleep on the job. There you are. Mission accomplished. Nice. I just had to use a little bit of thinking there. <laughs> Don't crash, motherfucker. Who was that man? He just came in, looked around, and left. Oh shit, that's all I want to do. Do we a plain clothes? From the patrol battalion coming to see if there are any smugglers here plain clothes don't bumble like that or draws much attention then he came to cause trouble i'll go and catch him how he has gone he was gone in the blink of an eye he clearly knows king kong king gong oh this guy that was the last in nothing the girl said she wanted to leave the city but she's not at the gates the doc had to be had to use the best meds to treat her what if she doesn't come back and he puts the bill in my tab? I have to catch her. Woo! <laughs> I'm not sure I understand your analogy. Ah, it wasn't the most apt. I opened my little agency in Lungman to make a living, but business ended up better than I expected. Wei Yen Wu and the LGD can't deal with every little trouble out there. <clears throat> we need good citizens like Mr. Lin to pitch in. 
It can't be helped. It can't be helped. That's true for Lungman, and it's true for Yumin as well. Yumin patrols the northern borders to repel potential threats to Yan. But back when Originium technology was not so advanced, it took several times the manpower to run a mobile fortress like Yumin compared to today. A group of patriotic martial artists went to Yumin at the time. They never officially joined the army, but they helped out with all sorts of things. Escorting messengers, scouting the path ahead, even going into battle with the army. They played a key role in Yumin's peace and prosperity, and earned the city the respect of the city. The court and the Jiang Hu were one mind. Were of one mind. This was how Yumin used to be until 20 years ago. The Shanghai Zhong? Yes. Once again, the Shanghai Zhong were the reason. Were the reason. There's nothing else. I hope I didn't bother you in your duties. You'd be on my head. What? Be on my head? You knew I wouldn't agree. A short whistle. Then the tower's Reginium lighting shuts off without warning, surrounding the pair in darkness. A flickering flame lights up in the distance a second later. The soldiers run back and forth, passing the torch between the beacons. Seventeen roars of the drum drag through the night sky to by the Rapidly moving human. Today is the second day of the Wang Fen Festival. It was created to remind the people of Yumin to remember the past. This meeting may have been may have taken place earlier or later. By then, you may have recalled it three things. I've never forgotten. Do you remember how many of the heroes who died for Yumin were not soldiers? They owe Yumin nothing. Nor does Yumin owe anyone anything. Zhao! Stand down. It was my negligence that allowed those criminals into the city 20 years ago, disguised as human martial artists. You can blame me, punish me, execute me, but the blame should fall only on me or on you. All the responsibility falls upon me. And how have you taken responsibility? Alienating the brothers who have, who gave blood, sweat, blood and sweat for human? Driving them away? Is that your idea of taking responsibility? Human owes them an answer. Human belongs to Yan. All it does is the service of the Yanese people. That's my answer. This meeting is over. The name Shai Shan Hai Zhang is not widely known. It wasn't that anyone was neg negligent. Everyone was so focused on guarding against external threats, they didn't realize that there were enemies hiding in the shadows. Bodyguards, bouncers, blacksmiths. These civilians often fought alongside the soldiers and enjoyed a great deal of freedom in Yumin. The Shanghai Zhang took advantage of this fact. The city was caught off guard and responded slowly. The Shanghai Zhang's plot to destroy the city's power core was foiled, but only after heavy casualties had been taken. After that, taking measures after the fact is still better than not at all. But the measures might have gone too far. After that, the Lord Exorcist began to reform the city's administration, removing Jiang Hu involvement and setting increased restrictions on the movement of people. Some of those who stayed joined the army, others put their swords down and took up another living. An ordinary cook at an inn may have been a famous swordsman back in the day. Twenty years is plenty of time for a city to look very different. That always says that there will come a day when Lungman won't need downtown or the Rat King anymore. If there comes a day when the city no longer needs to patrol the barren lands, then the people in the city won't need to carry swords anymore. Times change. Some want to give it a push, others a pull. In the end, they're all left behind. That's the story that I heard. Does it help? A lot, actually. Thank you, Mr. Lee. What did you learn? Ten men, two hour shifts. Ten man, two hour shifts. No extra guards at the sand sluice. Just as I saw. One more thing to ask you to do. At the hour of you, I want you to cause a little commotion around the sand sluice. Nothing too big, just draw away the patrols. Oh, okay. What do you... Ask no questions if you still trust me. Alright. Did you see Zhou Zhou Zhan Liao in the tower? Yes, I did. Oh, the cicadas. That was so loud. It's getting hotter. Someone attacked Wei Yen Wu last night and threw the human barracks into chaos. You were the assassin. 
you cause abnormal weather wherever you go. Is this arts or some other trick? Murder of a messenger, attempted theft of a catastrophe data, attempted assassination of a court official. What do you think human is? Shan Hai Zhong. A city headed the wrong way. This way is wrong. Go no further. You know why human is returning. It's not hard to guess. Father tasked me to complete three tasks in three days. Recover the Grandmaster's sword, catch the assassin, and track down the Shan Hai Zhong who have infiltrated the city. It turns out that all the answers were right in the sword forge. You won't complete any of them. Stand back. This one's Kung Fu is unfathomable. You were no match for him. Oh, is it a him? Oh, that's crazy. I didn't realize. You're not as strong as the Forte man, but you seem a little quicker in the uptake. I didn't even realize that was a dude. <laughs> so it was you who attacked Lord Tai He. You dodged the last strike. You dodge or block the next one. Neither. He often told her that Kung Fu is like climbing a mountain, whether as a tool of revenge or a way of life. The more treacherous the path, the steadier one's heart must be. She saw her enemy, and she saw the mountain. That is why she spent five years with him. If the battle cannot be won, she, she would not seek to not lose. Offense is the best defense? You have guts, I'll give you that. But things are not as simple as you think. Hmm? They cross swords and she realizes her decision was imprudent. She is facing another mountain. Cold steel flashes before her face. The droplets on the blade touching her nose. She can hear her own heartbeat. If the record keeper was here, he would have exclaimed that Shu Kyubai recreated the move on the training ground. Dive, stop, and turn around before hitting the arc of death. Like the foul beast that narrowly avoids the waves on the river. Ugh, he dodged again. How dare you, you? Get out of the way! Go by, grabs Zhao Ling by the collar, and pulls him back. He sees the foe's third swing, which lights up the yard. It is March, but the Sword Forge feels like midsummer. Even the night sky looks a little whiter than the heat wave. There's only a pagoda tree near behind them. There's nowhere to run. The sword. Don't move! You're still trying to take the sword? Do you want to get yourself killed? You're not dying until you tell me where Meg Tai is. Gwazi. A burly man suddenly appears in the courtyard. He grabs the girl and knocks away the sword in one fluid motion. Like a bucket of cold water poured down on the ground, he forces everyone to scatter. The heat disappears. I've been looking for you. Let me go! You almost got yourself killed. I told you to stay put in the clinic. Now you've made your injuries worse. You're still inhuman, Hawaii. Oh, it's you. Your Shifu won't fight me until he has left his post. I have to wait for him. You haven't budged for three years. Nope. What's more important than this? Where can I find an opponent like him after he leaves human? There's a Kung Fu Master right here in front of you. Why don't you have a go at her if it's a fight you're looking for? This woman? You're in my way. Something didn't feel right when I blocked that attack. It was heavy, but had neither form nor design. I don't know what that strange power is, but you're no master. I have no time for you. You hear that commotion inside, Jing? That young man just broke in before I could stop him. Damn. This is Tai Yi's last workshop. He's been good to us. We need to protect it. Master, boss, there are more Jiang Hu adventurers coming. And human soldiers behind them. Coming from three directions. Around a hundred in total. Uh, no point in wasting time here if the one we're looking for isn't here. Suddenly silence. It is as though the cicadas were never there. It is still March. The chill of early spring makes everyone shiver. Let's go. Stop right there. Whoa! <laughs> That's the one, Jing. Where are you going, sir? Out of my way. Look at the mess here. Hardly anything left standing except the walls. You owe us an explanation. This is a human military case. Anyone who interferes will be arrested. Wait, you're Zhao Zhuan Liao's kid. Oh, the general, right? Or the, the exorcist dude. So, Zhao wants to take down the last sword forge now? Impudence. 
Impudence. I don't like his character. Lord Zuo. Did you see the Zhang? The Shan Hai Zhang on their way here? We've sent men after them. Good. Round them up and take them into custody. Lord Zuo. There are dozens of them. All local residents. They appear right as the criminals retreated and obstructed our pursuit. They must be investigated thoroughly. All the rest have something to do with the case. The girl in the exotic outfit was hiding in the short sword forge. She must know where Meng, Meng Taiyi is. Ugh, I, keep, I feel like a tickle in my throat. Am I out of my drink? Sag, I'm out of drink. I'm going with you if you take her away. The sword forge is linked to the Shanghai Zhong. Given your ties to Meng Taiyi, I would have asked you to come with us regardless. As for you, she's coming with me to get her wounds treated and to pay her bill. This is no time for jokes. I can't go with you. <laughs> All you care about is the sword? <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> Why you? And then just, woo! Takes her away. <laughs> Take these people back to the barracks for questioning. I'll go after the Grandmaster Sword. <laughs> Why is that their thing? It's just like, whoo, off the screen. Just a scratch. Do as Zhao Lai says. For now. Please treat these Jianghu people with proper respect, Millennium. That's hilarious. Whoop. Oh, that man. Noises continue to emanate from the direction of the Sword Forge, but Waifu stops in her tracks. The figure on the roof vanishes with, in the blink of an eye, as though it was just a gust of wind. Waifu tightens her fists. She has never been more certain. Ah, revenge. I think we did all right. I think we did all right. That's the end of the video. So, if you liked it, like and subscribe. I love having you guys around. Um, That was tons of fun. I didn't know that there was this up in the corner that let me watch the cinematic again. Because I skipped it the first time around, not knowing what was going on. I just like hit skip really quick and I'm like, oh, it'll let me watch it later. And then I couldn't find where to watch it. So it's nice that I finally got to see the whole thing. Um, the Grandmaster, hopefully he does something soon. And I'm really curious to see the villain. Like, he, she, I don't know anymore. And I don't care. Because that's a cool character. They control the weather just by being around, so... And in the cinematic, it looked like a Farron Moot had a giant circle around it that looks like the thing that is constantly following him around. Oh, that's really cool, though. So, if you want to join the Discord, it'll be in the description. I have a lot of active... I mean, we're getting more active members in there. So, why don't you join them? Talk about Arknights a little bit. Uh, and if you want to support the channel, the Ko-Fi will also be in the description. Hop down and buy me a coffee. I'd appreciate it a lot. Other than that, though, you better have a good night, and bye bye